What's going on YouTube? It is Flashback here. So, I know I haven't been able to continue my Let's Play. I've just been having issue upon issue upon issue. Um, yeah. This is many different versions. Um, I, I almost had it. Which, if I come over here... Uh, when I say almost, I mean I've been through a lot. Like, this is just one batch. Which originated from another batch, which originated from another batch. Like, I, this was pretty much the second to original. This was the second, uh, second iteration. Do we still have the first iteration over here, or has it disappeared? Uh, nope, that's the second iteration as well. Technically, that's the third iteration. It's a, this is the second iteration. And yeah, it doesn't look look like we have the first iteration anywhere. Yes, we do. Right here in this hole. Oh. Alright, so yep, this is the first iteration of this little tunnel I was working on. It does work, it's just... I can't seem to figure out rovers to save my life, so... That's fun. However, I did manage to create this giant... What looks like a landing platform of some sort. This actually started as a station, and I turned it into a ship after I tested it. That is, I think, five pistons, which drops it down a decent amount. Um, I'll actually go ahead and go up this hill and show you an area I have mined. Um, it works. It does work very well, actually. And all these thrusters. <laughs> like, you'll need so much energy to power this thing, but... If you've got the energy, it's worth it, I think, and these are actually designed to come back up, although I think I'll fix that. I don't really need them like that now, but I think I like having the pistons on there, just because. Um, and it's got a whole plethora of everything, and this isn't even properly wired up yet. But we'll go ahead and go up here to where I was mining with it. And I've actually noticed something. Yep, I missed it. Turn around. Right now I'm getting about 20, 20 to 25 FPS above ground. This is my hole. This is my hole, and I went in and created a station down here. Down here I'm getting 35 to 50. Like that, those trees really do a number, and I just made this to give this place some flavor. Some flavor, if you will. Flavor text. But yeah, this is just a small little mine, a small little area down here, mostly so I can put lights in. I eventually I may turn this into a base, I might turn this into a survival world. This is the original start with the base on it already, but this is pretty much what it does. I mean, it can probably definitely be improved on, but I personally think that's a great start. I don't know how much better I could really do with that. And it's funny because those pistons are actually the exact same height it was after all the station blocks that were here. I'm actually pleasantly surprised that it worked so well. And I mean from here I could, if I wanted to pull out, say I, this wasn't here, I could actually bring a bore in here and just keep on going. I mean a bore would be pretty easy to make to be honest, just a couple of small thrusters and just let it go. Don't even really need small thrusters per se. I mean. This essentially is a bore as it is. I mean, I've been trying to make bores as horizontal bores for the last umpteen hours. And, uh, I tried going to the piston thing because it was just going to... I figured it would help me out in the short term just trying to get in. And that seems to be the problem is getting in. Like This keeps happening because of the uneven trains. and It's definitely not the way to go, I don't think. I'll have to work on that a little more. I mean, I obviously, I'm having a hard time just getting the wheels to work now, so that's awesome. But this thing does fly, and it flies very well. I will go ahead and jump up there, and yeah, the pistons do move around a little bit. I actually don't know any way to fix that. I'll look into it real quick. I've got two cockpits on this thing. It's nice to have a cockpit down here for when you're mining down and you want to actually be with it. So let's see, we've got these pistons here got them off right now so if I 
turn this all the way down would that fix it now I can imagine so there I know I've heard of a way to lock them but I'm I spelled this wrong but I'm not entirely sure how to do it I'm going to fix that landing pistons there we go that's what I was looking for lights full radius on all the lights of course um, gears are on all locked good good yeah I'm not entirely sure how to actually do that um one thing I will say you are gonna want this turned to down to negative 0, 0.0 if you have all of them set to on at once which I do otherwise it just gets to be a little too fast and it just starts bouncing all over the place this is actually quite stable surprisingly so in order to fly this I will go ahead and jump up to the top to the upper uh, cockpit and I'll show you folks that it does indeed fly quite well actually I do already have it saved so no worries so down on the bar let me go ahead and turn you'll see everything you need number one is drills number two is to reverse which ones are those? That's the regular pistons. Those are the landing pistons. So the third one are the landing pistons. And that's just to turn the landing pistons on and off. I'm actually surprised those will still work. Eight is gears and nine is the thrusters. So we'll I'm really getting tired of the day-night cycle. So any way I can change it now does not look like it. Ooh, great. I tell you what I'll be right back and we are back so I did adjust it um I set it to one full day and then I turned the uh, Sun rotation off which I think may have been a mistake but we'll at least get in the air here and try to move over that way to show you what's going on so we're gonna go ahead and turn our thrusters on and we will unlock our gears and we will fly and go 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 so the only issue with this really is that you basically have to treat it as the top is forward or if you really want you can drive it like this so you don't want to go too fast with the piston apparently <laughs> uh, oh that's wonderful Oh my. So I appear to be in for a crash landing here. What what happened? Like all of a sudden I just lost all control over it. Oh my. Oh my. Oh. Okay. Well, I made some cool water effects. <laughs> Oops. Do I still have power? How do I still have power? These lights should not still be on. There's nothing power in the station anymore. Huh. So, that was cool. So that was even cooler because apparently my inertial dampeners were still off even though I turned them on. So let's just respawn it again. Ooh, this thing is framey. Come on. It doesn't help that this station's around that the ships around me crashing at the same time that I'm trying to place this. It's a freaking pendulum in there. Pendulum. Pendulum? Pendulum. Pendulum. Something or another. Alright, so we'll go ahead and... God, it, it does look really cool though, doesn't it? It's almost like a, like an oil well, which is kind of the look I was going for, to be honest. So yeah, if you guys could help me figure out how to lock those pistons, that would be very helpful.
Hello? Oh, duh. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and redo this. Do I not have anything? Yeah, I do. I do have one thing, okay. So we're gonna try and go this way a little bit. And you know what? I think I'll actually go and try to land this somewhat in... Well, I don't really have an area around here I could land it. Alright, remember, don't go too fast. Those pistons do not like me. Really? Really? You gonna be like that? Really? Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, slow it down, slow it down, come on, get back into the angle we need. Alright, so let's go forward here. If it will allow me to, that would be great. I want to show everyone that it does land even though I just lost one of my landing gears because the base is kind oh yeah I can't do that in the atmosphere that's right alright so I'll go ahead and let the ship slow itself down here I don't think I lost any thrusters no I do definitely need more thrusters I'm thinking just a bunch of the smaller ones alright So just like so should work. Yep. Alright, so it does naturally come down slowly on its own, but we're going to go and speed that up just a tiny little bit. Just to give it some flavor here. Alright. So we do still have a little bit more room. Now, this is one nice thing is that you do see that particle effect. That's kind of the idea of when to slow down, period, when it comes to, uh... So I'm going to be ready on the uh, landing gears. I'm getting there. Got two down. Alright, you know what? Because of that one missing, I can't really land it properly. But there you go. That should be proof that it does, in fact, fly and land if your... If that base doesn't shoot off your la other landing gear, you should be fine. I mean, even now, it'd probably work. So I've only got one landing gear, yeah. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and just paste it in over here, and I'm going to show you that it does, in fact, work quite well in terms of drilling. Come in. Place it. Alright, so we are pasted. Alright, so I'm actually going to do it from, yeah, i got to do it from the top one. Now this is a little bit framey simply because of the amount of voxels on it. Uh, that's one thing to keep in mind. With DirectX 11 on planets, I know it is a lot more resource demanding, unfortunately. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and uh, zoom out first. We're going to turn this way so you can see it clearly. We're going to turn the drills on. We're going to turn the pistons on. Or reverse them, I should say. And there they go. And now I could actually probably go down there and just sit on it. Oh my. A little bit framey here. A little bit framey. A little bit framey. Again, that's going to be mostly because of these other stations sitting around here. Oh, that kind of looks cool. Imagine just a fleet of these sitting out here on the ice. Just drilling ice for days. I'm thinking what, one thing I could do to help stabilize this is instead of having just one piston, have uh, four pistons or more around the edges. Is this thing lowering at all? 
It seems to be, but I can't be 100% certain. Yep. Well, let's get into the group here and check it out. That would explain it. It was on plus 0, 0.0. Now it looks like we are expanding. I'm going to go ahead and reset it here. Give it a second to reset. What's this one? Ah, oh, pistons were off. That would probably explain it as well. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start extending here. This is much faster this time around, looks like. Good, good. So you'll see down here we only have control of these pistons and drills. That's kind of intentional. I don't want to be able to fly from down here because that's just asking for trouble. So we are starting the drilling process here. And I would fast forward this, but the way I'm recording this doesn't re won't really allow me to do that. So I'm not going to be rendering it. So I'll just come back at random periods during the drilling process. So how's that sound? So this is the process about a quarter of the way down here. Um, I was just looking at my phone during this uh, waiting period, and looks like it is just a good thing that I'm drilling into ice right now because it is apparently either snowing right now. I haven't looked outside. It's like 5:30 in the morning. Yeah, 5:30 in the morning right now, or it is about to snow here in a little bit. Wonderful first snow of the year, and I don't have my front-wheel drive car ready to go yet. It needs a new battery, and I haven't been able to afford one yet. So right now, my wife's probably going to be stuck driving the uh, driving the Mercury, which is rear wheel drive V8, so a little too much torque for snow right now. <laughs> but it is what it is, right? So we're reaching just under halfway right now. We'll be back when it gets closer to the end. I just noticed something. I mean, I know I'm cutting in and out a lot here, but uh, is it just me or when that fall, fell on its side there, does it kind of look like an ATAT? On its side. Heh. Might just be me. So I'm noticing something neat. We're a little over halfway done now, and down there it looks like it goes ice stone, and then it looks like ice again. Almost like a second layer, maybe like a permafrost. But no, indeed, it's just the way my lighting is reflecting down here, probably because of the biome itself. Um, it's kind of neat. Although it does kind of show an possible issue with the lighting system if it's reflecting based on certain colors based on biome. It looks cool that way though. Yeah, it seriously looks like it's like a frozen rock into permafrost again. So yeah, that's pretty much how it works. I'm not even going to bother trying to fly that out without the pistons raised up. But I think it may be about done. We're going to head back up to the main cockpit here. Try to avoid these other engines. Boy, it is weird using a jetpack in uh, an atmosphere. It really screws with you. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and hit the cockpit here. Alright, what are we sitting at in terms of the pistons right now? Nine point six, so they're pretty much out all the way. Yeah, so we could turn them off right now. They're not going to really go a whole lot further. All right, so now those pistons should be coming back up. Yep, yeah, here they come. So I'll be back after they come back. God, this game is beautiful now. I mean, that right there is just a view. The sun on the right, the mountain in the background, the station bringing up its platform, and then that mess. <laughs> and then you turn on your hood and it's all messed up. It is pretty though. Alright, so F4 is a screenshot. Good to know. Alright, so right now it's 24, 25, hmm, my hood is actually dropping my FPS by one, 
So we are all the way back up now. So let's go down there and check it out, shall we? Yeah, it's, it's very boring as you can see, but... Are my cargo holds full? Huh. Well, it just seems cold down here, doesn't it? That's some thick ice. Alright, well, let's head back up here. Alright. No, we're not full. We are <laughs> refining everything, though. Literal everything. We got a large amount of ice now, too. Oh, cool. Alright. So that'll work for now. Is the refinery still on? Yeah, it's still going. Alright, well. That's gonna be it, I think. That's all I really wanted to show you was this giant monstrosity and kind of update you on the situation. If you do want to see a continuation of a Let's Play, then let me know. I will try my damnedest to get something going. At the very least, like, start with a fresh, clean world and just use this as my mess around with random ideas world. <laughs> because this right here, I love this. I mean, it doesn't have a whole lot of use on this planet, but I, I, I don't know. I just like it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Till then, take it easy.